sure. But think of the stories you'll be able to tell. Owl bear traps. This nest must be nearby. Stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. only surmise the obvious. The owlbear is out for blood. <laughs> the beast returns the war in kind. favors the fearless. everything. Time to press ahead. someone inside out. Time for a new approach. Come on. Can't stay idle.
No time to waste. Shall we dance? They won't know what bit them. Outmaneuver them. Survival is all that matters. Breath. from you to his dead mother. A single strike will end his suffering. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. I can provide for the cub. Perhaps it'll live. An unhatched one would fetch quite a price. Wish I had a bag of holding. An owl baby. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. Looks like a shrine to Saluna over there. yield its contents easily. Mm. Mm. What's that? Just an old prayer. Trust no one. A prayer. Curious symbol next to it. Well, Saying a few words won't hurt. Never a dull moment.
What's next, I wonder? All right, what now? Said. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Fine. Perhaps you can sell them for a couple of coins. Ah, it hurts. for me. <clears throat> Curse to put my hands on everything. I saw you training those children. You were so gentle. That's not how I was taught. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadow. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned a lesson, after all. And came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt is sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. I respect his craft. As should you. Watch out for that devil. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. Someone I like to play with people. 
Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. I should speak up. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor. And I will conquer every layer of hell, should she command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the hells? This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many plains. The goblins still infest the roads. As long as their leaders live, Zevlor's people are trapped. He brings to mind a story. The Devil with the Silver Tongue. An old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the Devil, so the story goes. In exchange for the farmer's dearest fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach, but his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales, don't you think? That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with, and then require more still. You might think you'd give up anything for a cure, but the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the Archdevil Zariel's own, Chaos Incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach, even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking, the damage she might be doing. A powerful friend with a keen interest in... privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> yes, they offer you an apple, but they're the worm that lurks within. Still, don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation, it merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us. Badly, and in that knowledge lies our opportunity.
There's no such thing as an absolute certainty. Let me play the devil's advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. If there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody, it's ambition. A quality they share with many humans, come to think of it. By figuring out his true intentions. Fact one, there's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. Flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no. It's not what it looks like. I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well blood there in the dim firelight you see him for what he really is a vampire a slave to sanguine hunger it's not what you think i'm not some monster i feed on animals boars deer kobolds whatever i can get i'm just too slow right now. Too weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer. Fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you, and your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. His mind opens up, revealing cracked and quivering memories. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only thing your master lets you eat. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, only be a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck, 
a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. finally clear. I feel strong. I feel happy. Shouldn't take long. So many people need killing. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. This is a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You watch as he stalks towards the forest, stronger, more confident, ready to hunt. Good morning. How do you feel? Be grateful I'm not a true vampire, then. A bite from them and you might wake up as a vampire spawn, like my good self. All of a vampire's hunger, but few of their powers. Oh no, I should be cinders in this light. I hadn't seen the sun for 200 years before we crashed here. Someone. Or something wants me alive. They've changed the rules. Standing in the sun, wading through a river, wandering into homes without an invitation. They're all perfectly mundane activities now. As for my other quirks, well, <laughs> we can figure those out in time. That's my theory, but who knows? I'm just glad you're being sensible about these uh, revelations. I was worried people might turn up with torches and pitchforks. Although there's still time. Hunting with vampires. Never thought I'd see the day. Very well, but I'm keeping an eye on you. And no wisecracks about having us for supper. I'd just better not wake in the night to find fangs at my throat. Oh, quite the opposite. I'm here in the spirit of openness and honesty to work together as a team. I'd just better not wake with any holes in my neck. There now. We're all friends again. Shall we go? There's a long day ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> 